what is going on what is going on it is scorpion red tarot back at it again to let you know what is going on mid-month for the divine masculine yes indeed this is what we have all been waiting for to find out what we got for the divine masculine energy for march the 15th through the 31st thank you so much everyone for liking sharing and subscribing shout out to all my new subscribers make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload shout out to everyone who be in the um building with me for the morning slide thank you guys so much for the love and support guess what voila magic voila magic voila magic bitch bitch tell the night okay anyway listen you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for booking all of the personal and private readings. Thank you so much for all of the, listen, I have been, if y'all, well, if y'all feel comfortable, if y'all have had a personal reading with me, let me see them thumbs up in the, in the comment section, man. Let me see them thumbs up. Let me see them thumbs up. Every freaking body that I've been connecting with on a personal tip, y'all are fucking amazing. Y'all are amazing people. And I thank God for bringing y'all in my life. Y'all motivate me. Y'all truly have shown me my life's purpose. And I, I literally broke down yesterday. And um, I had a personal reading yesterday right after the Scorpio reading. And, um, bro, it's just like I just I broke down, man. I just broke down. And I don't do this for money, bro. I give a lot of readings out for free. And it's, I know when it, it's moved spiritually in my heart where someone really, really needs help. And I know I do get a lot of people be trying to scam me too. So I'm hip to that. And y'all already see how I am in my personality. So if you think that you're going to come in my inbox and, my, and try and pull some, like, <laughs> I'm going to pray for you because you don't know what you do. Because, bro, y'all be getting cussed the fuck out, bro. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I be like, I'm sorry. Like, I know y'all not trying it. But I get more love than I get people trying to scam and trying to pull game and stuff like that. And trying to trick me out of free reading. A lot of the people that I've been getting, not a lot of, the vast majority. I'm going to say 98% of everyone that's been coming into my life. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, everyone who has been liking, sharing, subscribing. That's been booking personal private readings. That has been coming to me even when y'all like, look, Red, I ain't got no money like that. But I need help. I can feel when it's real. And I love y'all. And I thank y'all for coming to me. I thank y'all for the connection. And God blesses me abundantly. Regardless. Because I do this from the heart. And because of y'all's love. I've been able to purchase more decks. Okay. So. Whichever sign you have. Okay. Make sure that y'all go check out y'all personal sign reading. Because there will be a bonus reading. Where I'm going to roll out these new decks that I have and of course I went and got me the rebel deck because I need me a deck that cuts just as much as my badass do okay so and if you love Alice in Wonderland just as much as I love Alice in Wonderland trust me this is a freaking treat I cannot wait to see the Cheshire Cat up in here somewhere because I know the Cheshire Cat is up in here honey causing mischief okay so listen make sure y'all check out y'all month's reading for your zodiac sign and I hope that you guys are selected for the bonus. And I just want to say I just love y'all so much. And thank you guys so much for the love and support and the love and light that y'all send my way. I mean, y'all y'all thank me. I'm thanking y'all, like, truly, honestly and truly, because I couldn't do this without you. And I just, I'm just blessed to be able to do something that I love while I'm helping people, while I'm being connected with so many beautiful people, bruh. I'm just so blessed. And I'm so lucky. And I thank all of you guys. I thank you all. Anyway, let me stop being so emotional. Y'all know that's that Scorpio shit. So, look, if you want to book a personal private reading, go on to that About tab. Click that um, hyperlink. Scorpion Red Tarot and simply book me. Everything else is where it needs to be. Listen, let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Masculine Energy. Thank you so much for... <sighs> Look, our, our feet has been speeding. I feel like someone's been speeding like a NASCAR driver. Why am I hearing speeding in my head? Speeding. Y'all been speeding. Why y'all been riding so fast? Like, why, where, where you going? Where do you need to go so fast? Divine, 
the divine masculine feel like he going somewhere he, he going somewhere fast i don't know if he trying to go find this divine feminine i don't know where the hell he going but he going somewhere fast lord give him some guidance today before he get a ticket i can't even say nothing no more because this man is like going fast i don't know where he going father please give the divine masculine <laughs> please give him guidance for march the, the 15th through the 31st father god thank you so much please what's, what's going on with this man why is he driving so fast father god please give me guidance for the divine masculine <laughs> what is going on father god please give me guidance for the divine masculine for March the 31st through the oh Lord scary ass scary hyperfant okay there, there you go with this okay all right all right you moving on okay but you're not happy and you're scared I don't know why all right so the divine masculine is working on himself right now I feel like He's in some type of counseling or something like that. I feel like Divine Masculine went and got his ass into some counseling because he realized I can't do this by myself. I need a teacher, someone to teach me a better way, okay? So that's what the Divine Masculine is doing, and he ain't happy about it. He is not happy about it, and he's scared about changing because he's going to have to grow the fuck up, okay? He's going to hey, he have to grow up, and the higher is telling him, look, okay? If you want there to be change in your life, there has to be some structure. You can't just go around and hurting people and just doing whatever the fuck you want to do, causing all this chaos and mischief and think bad karma ain't going to come back to you. Okay? So, I feel like Divine Masculine is having to face a lot of his demons and he's getting... He's getting a lot of education right now that's making him look at himself. And, you know, <laughs> I don't feel like, you know, he's very passionate about having to do this. It's not fun. Uh, but the Hierophant is look like ain't nobody going to stand here with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody going to stand here with you. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to teach you. And I'm going to pray to God that you listen and that you move forward and that you remove this burden from your life and having this barrier where you feel like you can't move forward. All right? Ain't no need for you to be scared. I'm teaching you everything that you need to know. Ain't nobody going to stand here and aid you and pussyfoot with you around. Okay? I know I'm the high friend. I'm the custom high friend. Look, let me tell you something. God know I pray and I cuss. Listen, let me tell you something, okay? Ain't nobody going to pussyfoot and sissy roll around with you. You have to remove this barrier. And you have to take everything that you have learned throughout this journey. And you have to apply it to your life, okay? And by the blessings of God, I, I mean, look. <laughs> Divine Masculine has been listening. He finally turned around and he's not as focused on the past anymore. He's focusing on his future. He realized he got to grow up and he ain't happy about it. He ain't happy about it. And there's two babies here. I don't know if there's like some twins or something like that. I don't know. Like a girl and a boy or something like that. Or I feel like... I feel like you got to grow up from... Acting like a goddamn child, honestly. I feel like Divine Masculine has to grow up from acting like a child and dating children. I feel like that's why you attract childish situations. And that's what keeps you unhappy. You feel me? Like, you gotta grow up. And I feel like the Divine Masculine, he ain't happy about having to change and stop all of this childish ass behavior. But he know he gotta change it. In order for him to like move forward. Like that's part of him moving forward. And growing the fuck up a little bit. And stop looking at the past. Because the past is when he was fucking up. Acting stupid. Being childish. Stop looking back. If anything. Look at that behavior. And check yourself on it. That's what the horror fan been teaching him. Now it's time for you to stop being a guarder. To move forward. Turn around. Move forward to the future. And grow the fuck up. And stop acting like a goddamn baby. And stop dating immature ass people. You were acting immature. You was dating immature, childish ass people just like you. I feel like this divine masculine did not date people in his age range. He dated very young-minded people. He dated people at the at the mind state that he mentally was. So if the divine masculine was 46 and he dated like 26-year-old girls, that's because 
his mind was like he he never matured mentally. It's something about the divine masculine where he is really scared to use his intuition and to fucking grow up. Like he is stressed, he is anxious, he is worried, he is like literally fighting within himself, and it's like a damn nightmare. Him having to go to this counseling. <laughs> like it's like all of the stuff that the Hierophant is telling him that he needs to do to grow up is a fucking nightmare to him. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare to him. I don't I don't think he likes going to these classes and all of the stuff like that. He does not like this shit. Father God, please give me guidance in regards to <laughs> But at least he's cleaning himself up. At least he's trying to get help. He's trying to get help. Baba God, please give the Divine Masculine guidance in regards to the current energy for mid-month March. Thank you so much. What is the energy surrounding the Divine? Oh, okay. The fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. He's learning how to speak his truth. Because the Divine Masculine could never... Oh, mm-hmm. He's learning how to speak his truth. But he's having a harder lesson opening up his third eye chakra. He, he, he is battling with his intuition. It's like his intuition telling him, you know you need to stop drinking. You know you need to stop smoking. You know that this person that you're dating is immature. You need to grow up. And it's like, and he said, he's like, no, 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 no. And it's like, why, why is my brain, why am I hearing this stuff in my brain? I just want my brain to shut the fuck up. No, you need to shut the fuck up and listen to your intuition. Where you think them thoughts is coming from? That's your fifth dimensional consciousness. Hello. The woman holding her heart, okay? If you want somebody to really open up their heart to you again and... It to be something successful and to be something victorious, like, I feel like Divine Masculine's been dating a whole bunch of ain't shit ass. Like I said, a whole bunch of immature little dumbass little, I mean, dating a whole bunch of little kids, a whole bunch of juvenile ass people, all right? <laughs> Divine Masculine wants a woman this time, someone that's, he wants his mind to grow up so that the divine in him can grow up so he can attract a true woman holding a heart that is willing to give it to him. Not a child. Divine Masculine right now is going through a journey where he's learning how to speak his heart. You know, having true intentions and learning how to speak up. I feel like the Divine Masculine never really spoke and told people how he felt he's learning how to speak okay working on that throat chakra okay and the worst battle is him fighting with his intuition because he don't want to listen to his intuition he needs to continue to work on that third chakra okay on that third eye chakra okay you need to work on that third eye chakra baby listen because that is going to help you. It's going to help you grow in a true, beautiful woman. Your true divine feminine will open up their heart to you again. Or you will meet her for the first time. Do you understand divine masculine? Do you feel me? Give divine masculine guidance and love. In regards to this woman holding her heart. What is going on with this woman holding her heart in regards to the Divine Masculine? Thank you so much. I'm glad that the Divine Masculine is getting some <laughs> Thank you, goodness. Ooh. Releasing yourself from being bound. That devil toxicity. You're releasing yourself from being bound and unawakened. Come on, Father. You better come through the Divine Masculine today. Come on. Reach him. Teach him. Okay? The Hierophant doing a damn good job. Come on, Hierophant. And not compromising. Okay? All right. Spirits, fingers, hey. All right, listen. Listen me. All right? Divine Masculine is learning. And he has released that toxic 
toxic ass behavior, all right, from not being, from being unawakened. He is finally awakened. He's released from being unawakened and not compromising with people. Because I feel like the Divine Masculine just did whatever the fuck he did. And he never really compromised with the women that was giving him his heart. And it's like, they had tell him, like, man, you're hurting my heart. And it was like, it was no compromise. It was just like, well, I still want to go get my dick sucked. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, you got to deal with that. Like, <laughs> you ain't had no problem telling the motherfucker that, though, did you? Okay? Okay? What the fuck? Yeah, get your fucking life together anyway. Listen. I ain't got time to be dealing with y'all today with this bullshit divine mask. And then listen. Okay. I am glad that you have finally came to that point of consciousness where you realize that you are more aware. That you need to, to be aware and you need to compromise. And that was the thing. That was like keeping you to this low vibration. Like you, you had to you had to release that shit, bruh. Oh, you want to get married now? Oh, yeah, the Divine Masculine has changed. I ain't never seen the Divine Masculine say that he wanted to get married before. What? And you open up your feelings again? Oop. What is this saying? Oop. You're opening up your feelings again. And that's the separation in reverse. What is this? And you ain't letting your bald headed ass friends help for you. I, I, feel, I can't feel you. I don't like your friends anybody. Right, ladies? We don't like your bald head ass, ugly ass, hate ass friends anyway. <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of here with that chat. Let me, okay, I'm sorry. Really, father? You, you really about to do that to me? You really about to do that to me? Hold on. The sun will come out. Nothing good ever comes easy. I know times are rough. But when it's going, so don't you give up. Come on, the sun will come out. Yeah, come on, come on. Fuck it up. Ah. Okay, listen. Like I said, the divine masculine done bumped his head and done lost his mind. I don't know, like, what, what, what happened to him? Did someone drug him? Did someone hug him? Did someone drug him? Did someone hug him? Father, Father God, did you come down and touch this man? Like, what the hell? What's going on with him? I don't even, I don't even know this dude. Who the hell is this? Who is this? If I'm asking want to get married and open up his feelings, good Lord have mercy. What in the world, Father God? You was really up there working some magician magic. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? They don't want to be separated no more. What are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> they realized that they fought, that they bald headed ass friends ain't shit. What? They realized that they bald headed ass friends was calling mischief. What? And <laughs> they realized that they bald ass friends is misfits. What? Oh my God. Jesus. Did you? Jesus, Louisa. What? I'm reloading. Your boy head front. Stop. Let me stop. It's like I'm playing. Your boy head front. Let me stop. No, for real. But your your boy head friend. I don't, I don't like your boy head friends. I don't like them. I don't like them. They forehead always be greasy and they head always be fucking dry. Why? Why? How your forehead gonna be greasy, but your scalp always be dry? You always look dusty. You always look like you're lacking moisture and you just need to rub some olive oil or some avocado extract oil all on the back of your in your scalp or something. You just look dusty. Okay, I'm sorry. I've had it. I'm sorry. Did I do that? Is that was that the divine feminine coming out of me? Was that was that you, girl? Hold on, was that you? Is that you? Is that you, girl? Oh. I'm sorry. I had to speak for you. You know, I ain't got no problem opening my throat chakra. You know, that's what he was working on. That ain't what we working on, Divine Feminine. That's what he working on. Oh, that, oh okay. Because we already let him know that we ain't. Oh, okay. Okay, anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Divine Masculine is getting his finances in his... In his, in his ha, 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 ha. Let me try that over again. Rewind Selector. The Divine Masculine is working on his finances and career. And the Lord is blessing him abundantly. Spirit fingers, thank you. He wants his soul make back. And he wants a snack. Yes, he wants a snack on a snack wrap. Okay, he wants to take a bite. He wants to take a bite and say goodnight. Mm. Say goodnight. Ooh, girl, you're delicious. 
Okay? You are delicious, soulmate. You are delicious. You ain't fictitious. You is delicious. I believe in you, girl. Come on over here. Okay? And I got their money together. They're like, I want you back. Come on over yonder. Come on over yonder. Okay? They ain't keeping an open mind no more about them other hoes. They ain't worried about them no more. They want you back, honey. They want to be with their divine feminine. Okay? They want to be with their divine feminine. They trying to give the relationship a chance, honey. They want to give it a chance, but they know that you ain't trying to come back and reconcile. You ain't trying to stay a while. You ain't trying to do it. You fucking knew it. You knew it. Okay? Because you knew that this motherfucker wasn't shit and y'all didn't really know each other like that. And you thought that you did and you knew each other for a long time. But I don't think you knew each other on that level. You needed to get a deeper shovel. Okay? Divine Feminine feel like she don't even know you no more. She don't even owe you no more. She don't owe you shit no more. She don't owe you a no reconciliation. She don't do it. I thought you knew it. She don't do. She don't do the going back. That's the, 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 the she. Mm 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 mm. No 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 no. That's why the Divine Masculine realized that he got the retreat. He got to keep moving forward. He got to keep moving forward because you know, a relationship wrapped in deception. It's never a true place where you can really, you know, have full love and, you know, really, truly express your love wholly. And that's why when he was with the Divine Feminine or the person that he was with in the past, this person he has been focusing on in the past, that's why he wasn't fully able to adequately on a consistent basis express his love because you can't do that when it's laced in, in deception and that's why this person is not letting him back okay and that's why she retreated from you and you had to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about yourself and certain things that you were doing that needed to change that needed to change all right but you're still optimistic about love life you feel like there's still a lot of chemistry all right and you just don't know if you know, waiting on this person from your past, past is worth waiting for. You don't know if it's, you feel like this person will never really let you back. And you don't know if it's worth holding yourself back, waiting on this person to allow you back into their life, okay? You got to pay attention to the red flags and the flags is telling you, a uh, flag on a plague. Like this bitch is going to say uh, x nay on the open snake. And then there will not be any you know, elevation to this situation. But I feel like the person in your past, I, the divine masculine realized that they, that that was their soulmate and they want to get married to that person, but they don't see that person accepting them and their commitment going any further. Hmm. Hmm. Let's dig deeper. Give me some additional guidance and love for Divine Masculine. Give me some additional love. You still got you still got a battle with that dark night of the soul. You still got a you still you still got a lot of things that you gotta work on. You still got a lot of things you want you gotta work on. You gotta stop looking at other people to paint your picture. And you're not really taking action. You're not really taking the the action that you really, really need. You're working on yourself, but the time ain't right for the situation with that. You got to do a little bit more work, Divine Masculine. You still got a lot of deep work within what's going on deep within. Okay? You got to stop looking at other people to paint your picture. You got to paint it your own self. You need to dig deep and figure out what's going on with you in the inside and what you need to change and you seriously need, need to take action without complaining about it without not being happy about having to change because if you're not happy about having it if you're not happy about having to change you're going to end up going right back to what was the same okay you're dreading it's like it's like divine masculine is dreading changing because they feel like they feel like their life is not going to be as eventful or as fun <laughs> The timing ain't right with you trying to go back to your ex. It ain't it ain't right, okay? This this woman is not stupid. She's not gonna allow you back on her energy. Please give the divine masculine some additional guidance and love. Let's go to a spiritual message. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Please give the divine masculine 
some additional guidance and love. You're trying to, you're trying to heal from getting caught in all that third party bullshit that you were going through. You're trying to heal from that, and I feel like you're you you stuck with someone unattractive that you really don't want to be with. <laughs> The high priestess, and you feel like this person that you with there is mm. 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 really divine masculine. Really, I feel like the divine masculine is currently in a situation. You're currently in a situation with somebody that, um. Look, first off, let's just deal with this. You're trying to deal with the third party heartbreak that you caused, okay? You're trying to heal from that. I feel like that's why you're getting counseling because you're trying to figure out why you keep doing this to yourself. Because I feel like this is a repetitive cycle. This is some dark rooted shit that you've been doing for years. I feel like right now you ain't doing nothing but attracting nothing but lazy ass bum bitches, okay? <laughs> you attracting lazy ass bum bitches? Not only are they lazy, I don't feel like they do housework. I don't feel like they keep their self. I don't think that the Divine Masculine likes the way that they dress. I feel like the Divine Masculine, I'm feeling him saying that she wears ugly ass clothes. Like, whoever the person is that they were dating in the past, I feel like she was beautiful. She was pretty. She kept her body looking decent. Like, he was very attracted to her body. And it was very statuous. Like, she had a Coke bottle shape or something. Man, I feel like this girl is frumpy or something. You look very homely and... He not attracted to... I don't, I don't, why are you even messing with people like this? Because at the end of the day, this person that you're dealing with, you feel like... <laughs> I feel like they feel like this, this person that they're dealing with is sneaky. They feel like this person is sneaky. And I feel like this person be reading his 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 messages and stuff like that. Cause this woman is uncomfortable. Cause not only do I feel like he's put the whoever he, in the past in a in a third party situation, he put this person in a third party situation. And she's uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. And I feel like she's been sneaky and she's been sneaking around and she's been withdrawn and reserved and she's holding herself back from him all the while. She's sneaking around and looking through this book trying to find answers and things like that. So that's what's going on in his current situation. And right now he ain't shit neither. He's not. She ain't doing shit in the house. He ain't doing. He's not helping her. Like, whoever he's staying with, like, he ain't been taking the trash out. He ain't been helping clean up nothing. Like, he ain't been really being a real active father. I don't know. The divine masculine is just... I don't know what the fuck he... He mirroring is just, like, them two is like peas in a fucking pod. Like, this bitch is a lazy piece of shit. And you done... He done turned into this, this, this... Mmm... What is going on, y'all? And it's like you not you not focusing on the past no more, but you not happy right now. And it's like you're not focusing on the past no more, and you're trying to move forward from the past. But it's like in your current situation, you was not happy. You are not happy, and I feel like your nightmares have turned into reality because that's what the moon card represents as well. And I feel like. Divine masculine wants a woman. That's why I said they want a they want a real woman. What's this clear sentence? Sentences. Notice your re recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. If you keep feeling this way about this person, if you keep looking at this person thinking like 
first off, this this bitch is trifling and she's fucking sneaky and I don't trust her just as much as she don't trust me. I don't trust her. I feel like the divine masculine is in a situation with someone that is just as nasty and fucking disgusting and low down and dirty as he is. As he is. I feel like he's been cheating on her and she's been cheating on him. And you need to notice the signs. If you feel like this bitch is like, if this what you feel about her, then keep it real about her. <laughs> if this what you feel about her, keep it real. Let that bitch know. Like, girl, uh, please let's get the my masculine some last part and words. And then we about to get the hell on up out of here. Mm-mm. Give the divine masculine some last part and words, y'all, but please. Thank you so much. Please give the divine masculine guidance some regards to this clear sentence. What's the Clara sentence? I think that's how you say it. I don't think I was saying it right. You finally made the decision and you're being strong. That's good. Y'all finally, y'all finally get into the point where y'all are able to make a decision. That's why I said the divine masculine wants to get married. And I really do feel like they love they true their true love is this person from the past. And they're trying to fix themselves so that they could be able to go back to them. But just because you went to a couple counseling sessions that don't mean that you ready to come back because <laughs> you're still not happy with your current situation and you still got a bitch that you're dealing with right now okay continue to be strong divine masculine remember what you put out in the universe you get back okay you got to work on that that's the only thing you got to work on continue to be strong and control your temptations control your temptations I feel like the divine masculine is right now just thinking about a lot of things that they did and they're trying to heal and they're fixing themselves at this current moment. So that is wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, let me get one more card from right here and then we about this is the divine masculine. A shadow and light card. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We the divine masculine. God in some parts of the shadow and light. What is this? You see clearly, clairvoyance. You see clearly what you need to do to change, okay? You even have eyes on your wings. So you have spirit on your back literally helping you to see everything that you need to see. That's why they're telling you to notice the reoccurring physical emotions and feelings as they signify divine guidance. Like you have God on your back helping you, pushing you through this journey. That's why you're finally listening to your conscience and your intuition and you're going and trying to get her help. And this help is going to help you stop being guarded and stop looking at the past and focus on what's in front of you because you can't go back to the past until you fix what's in front of you currently in your situation and truly find happiness in your life you understand what that sun being in reverse you're not happy and you need to have more faith and you need to have more hope and just know that things are going to get better and continue because you see where the change is you know what you're doing you know where you're going i love you divine masculine if this video resonated okay and i feel like give it another 12 months give it another year you'll get your lady back you'll get your woman back all right if this video resonated, you can, and, uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. let's see. If the divine feminine could speak to you, divine masculine, okay? You want to know what she would have to say? Let's see. If I could open up this bag, would you don't want me to open up the bag? If the Divine Feminine could speak to the Divine Masculine, what would she say? No other compares to you. It's just easy to stay away right now. No other compared to you, but it's just easier to stay away right now. Give it a year, Divine Masculine. Things will get better. I love you guys. If this video resonated and you want a personal private reading, go ahead and hit that like 
subscribe and share button and click that about tab on my YouTube page. All right. Hit that hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If this video resonated and you want to donate to the page to help us love grow and spread love light and positivity and inspiration go ahead and click that hyperlink for my paypal in the description i love you guys i will see you in april y'all make sure y'all check out y'all monthlies and um make sure that you like share and subscribe so that your sign can get that bonus read i love you i will see you guys next month in april peace